in the school I excelled. I was on the honor roll and the principal's honor roll and I was like an overachiever. Um, I ran track, I ran for student body president. I wrote a book on drugs and its effects and I won um, a Young Authors Award. Gigi would start to um, take me or my little friends to um, roller skating or to the mall and stuff and everything. And he was like a father figure. Gigi was there at some times. And um, he would talk to me and take me out and like give me all these lavish gifts or do all these things for me and stuff. And then he would tell me that Sex wise, he said, You don't need to give it up for free. He would try to put in my head all these different things and how men really think and how men are. And so I would believe him. He had sex with me when I was um, 13. And um, he's a very. Um, he uses his manhood to hurt, like break you in, I guess. Gigi's hours were from 6 in the evening to about 5.30 or 6 in the morning. Um, the girls would bring their, their money and give it to him. He was like uh, married to all of us, I guess. That's just how they do. Everything, everything was his. The judge sat up there and my, I remember my lawyer saying that he wanted to ask for me to be sentenced as a juvenile because YA had found me amenable and susceptible to the treatment. Um, but the judge said that um, because of my crime and he said it was a well thought out that I deserved the life without. That means I'm going to die here. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry to take his life like that. Um, I definitely know I deserve punishment. I mean, you don't just um, take somebody's life and think that it's okay. So yes, definitely deserve punishment. How much? I don't know. I've always tried to educate myself though, as far as reading books and things like that. But I didn't think I could excel, you know? And who wants to excel in prison? I mean, be all you can be, it's not much. I guess my little heart would tell me that I was worth more. My judge had told me I lacked moral scruples. And I understand that. I had no clue what morals were and I had no clue what scruples meant. So I had to find that in a dictionary and put the two together. You know, so integrity or, you know, honesty and all these things that I needed to learn, I went ahead and started to build this. If at a parole hearing, I would want to tell um, the people that, first of all, I've learned what moral scruples are. Second, that um, every day is a challenge, but I realized that. Um, I can, I don't know, I'm nervous, um, that I found the ability to believe in myself 
and that um, I have a lot of good to offer now the person who I am today at 29 I believe that um, I could set a positive example I'm very um, determined to show that um, no matter what you've done or where you've come from or what you've experienced in life it's up to you to change